Hello YouTube, my name is Gold and welcome back to another gameplay commentary. I know this video should have been the first ever episode of our new series involving random generated classes, but unfortunately, as you know, PSN is down, so we're not able to play the game and get the gameplays. So yeah, we're sorry, but there's nothing we can do. I think you will understand it, because I know a lot of you guys play on PS3 as well, so I'm not the only one stuck with this crap, so nah, it's a pretty good game, I thought. But um, first, I want to... I just want to ask you guys for a favor. If you could come up with a creative name for our new series involving random generated classes, we'd appreciate it because we cannot find a name. It's just a series, as I said, involving random generated classes and we cannot find a creative name. So if you know a creative name, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you want us to, we can give you a shout out or something. But um, we, we really appreciate it because the series coming up when PSN is back up. Uh, probably not the first day PSN is back up because it might take a while for us to actually sign into PS3 because we're stuck with a lot of schoolwork and the random generated classes. I know maybe what if it's a hard one? What if it's a dragon off or something? So you know, but yeah. So this is a pretty well. Someone asked us to post our best uh, domination score we had, and this is it. And um, it it's actually quite weird because as you may know, we lost our gameplays like two weeks ago. And I had this gameplay like, let's say, two days before PSN was down. It's a regular domination on Nuketown on which we go 97 to 3. And by the way, if you're. <laughs> don't run into the B flag when everyone from uh, at the under team is there. So, you know, just a quick tip, pro tip, because as you, as you may have seen, it didn't really work out for me. But yeah, as I was saying, so Ragdom Nuketown 97 to 3. But I want to put a disclaimer on this video. Because this is not a video to showcase any skill. And by the way, my phone just went off. I hope you didn't hear that. That's kind of unprofessional. But um, so yeah, so this is not a video to showcase any type of skill. It's just skills recording. I do realize that. But someone asked us to post this, so I thought, why not? I mean, I thought it might be entertaining to watch, and we almost broke the 100 kills, which would have been so awesome. But yeah, um, and one of the deaths is pretty stupid, as you will see um in like four minutes. But um, Nuketown Dominations, just stay behind the buses, don't run into their spawn because as you may have seen, our teammates just did and then they start spawning behind you and next to you and you don't know where they're at. And luckily we had a spy plane up and not a lot of them were using ghosts, which is kind of weird because everyone uses ghosts now, uh, you know, these days. But, you know, you, as you see on the minimap, a lot of them showed up so I was able to actually just kill them and that worked out. So, but as I said, stay behind the bosses, let them come to you, Span spawn trap them, cap A and B or C and B. I prefer to cap A and B because at C they cannot, um, they can't really reach you. But when they're at A, you may see that they can, when they're le on the left of me right now, right there where I'm looking at right now, if they're over there, they can pick you off and that's kind of, kind of a, a bad place for them to be in and they will kill you, so. But, uh. Every now and then, like uh, right there, look, this is what I was talking about. They can pick you off like right here, and that is not a good thing. But every now and then, an enemy will run into your spawn. And on Nuketown, make sure to, you know, run back to your spawn every now and then and make up your head. And if you stay in the middle of the battlefield all the time, you will make the wrong decisions. And that is going to get you killed. That is, I think that's obvious. And that's why you see me running back and forth all the time to see what I can do, check my minimap, check, um, you know, my ammo, do I have lethals and stuff. But yeah, that's just a quick tip. And I got lucky right there. As you may have seen, I, did, I only got 7 kills, which is not a lot on Nuketown, but someone was right next to me and he didn't see me because I was prone. So that worked out. And then I pick up this gun. The AK-47 noob. Oh, uh, you, sorry. Um... And with the grenade launcher, rem I remember being so kind of pissed off actually when I heard that the uh, SMGs were going to have a grenade launcher. And then I was kind of glad that only one did, and I hoped it was on it, it would be underpowered. But unfortunately, it was the AK-47U. But you don't see a lot of grenade launchers in Black Ops, and I think people don't give Treyarch enough credit for what they did. They got rid of grenade launchers and stuff because that was a huge problem in Modern Warfare 2, you know. And um, they got rid of it. They're not that powerful anymore. I was able to kill that guy because my teammate was shooting at him. So I actually stole the kill with my grenade launcher. And now grenade launchers are used to pick off campers and damage him. You, 
most of the time you don't directly kill them, but when I, I don't really use grenade launchers because I like my dual mech or red dot, but uh, I see people using them to clear buildings and make and see if they get a hit marker, just like you use stun as a Woody likes to say, you stun check them. Well, I guess a lot of people noob doob check them if I may say so, and um, just to see if people are there, if people. Uh, it, you know what corner is he in and that's why I'm trying to get well I can't at the moment but I want I, I'd really like to get tactical mass pro because a lot of people are camping due to ghosts and non stackable kill streaks and by the way I love non stackable kill streaks I a lot of people want them back but I really don't because uh, don't you just hate it oh, didn't you just hate it when in modern warfare 2 there were two harriers up a pave low and Every guy on the other team had some predator missiles, some pavelos, some choppers. I hated that because I was not that good at Modern Warfare 2. I'm not gonna lie, I only, I didn't even have a 1KD, it was like 0.7, which sucks, I know, but we were Christmas noobs and I, I mean, at the end of Modern Warfare 2, I could pull off a 2KD, but you know, um, I already, already had like 40,000 deaths or something. So, you know, and I was a, a, a UMP noob. I did understand because Gossix is a, he might be watching this video, so he was, he got, he, so him and some other people kind of got me into PS3, and um, due to them, I know that I knew that I couldn't use um, Second Chance, I couldn't use Grenade Launchers and Danger Close, I couldn't use Commando because I would be considered a noob, but they didn't tell me anything about the UMP, and I saw people on Machinima use it, so I used it as well, and I got a lot of hate on on Modern Warfare 2 because I used to just only play free for all, get 29 kills and then whip out my intervention and go for the trick shot which was so dumb I know but I was I was kinda new to gaming as well uh, back then it was my first ever shooter and this is my stupid death I didn't even see that guy and he snipes me but yeah the game is actually wrapping up I hope you enjoyed this commentary I'm sorry for my throat my throat is kinda itchy and it's my voice is kinda different but I hope you don't mind please thumbs this video up if you wanna support us thumb this video down if you didn't like this video and give us some uh, constructive feedback and I'm sorry we can't record the bonus clips because they're on P because PSN is down so we don't have one but I hope you enjoyed this bye guys we would appreciate it like we really would thanks just shut up